Welcome back guys to Ori and the Blind Forest where we've gained the ability to jump up walls as well as power ups to our attacks and the whatnot from just leveling but for now we continue onwards exploring as we've been given a destination to head to far far away. Find the Ginso tree is our objective however we also want to find our way back to get ourselves some special stuff but there seems to be walls blockading everything so with that said it's trying to work out how to get through them. Well, that just seems to be the opposite side there. So shall we drop down and see what happens if we go down the other side? Seeming it doesn't seem to be a loop round. It just seems to be a cut through. Let's get exploring some more. And find ourselves... A possible power. I know, the spirit that died here was strong and courageous. Listen to his voice. He was able to focus our light. Okay then, well I'll take that, and there seems to be an energy cell just below as well, but that's in the area that I couldn't jump up into before, which I don't think I'm going to be able to still, unless this is an ability that enables us to do just that. You've learned Charge Flame. To use this ability, hold X to charge, then release X to detonate and damage everything in proximity. Okay. So it's like a big nuky bomb. That said, anything up this wall that we can get to? Well, apart from the fact it crumbles, it doesn't look like we can get any higher using it. But that's not bad to gain ourselves a new ability there. And it's instantly giving us hints of what to use it on. So with that said, we can break down these walls now. Which means that we've got not just that wall, we could break down a wall over there. Though, of course, we need to find a way into that area to start with. That wall up there can go down now. I know where else over there, but still, maybe we want to cut through and cut back. If you know what I mean. And find ourselves what that obviously nice thing is down below. Right, so we got ourselves a way up there, but does this work on the same premise? We can blow you up. No problemo. And we need the energy now to be able to feel more. So we've experienced just appearing all around us, we jump over, get ourselves some energy shards, and go down. I guess it's not too far a journey for us, that's for sure. So we'll blow that open, of course we can just replenish it here anyway. And it's just a little trip back. So with that said, our spark flame seems to take them down a little bit faster, wouldn't you say? That power-up's probably a good idea for getting rid of the enemies in our path for the time being. Especially you, fish man. Are you still down there, are you? Oi, come back here. I'll sort you out this time. Alright. Jump back. Dodge past here. It's basically free experience from heading this way. Drop down. Find ourselves some goodies. So these ones are blowing up as well now. Were they blowing up before? I don't think they were. Because now we've made it all the way back to this point. We found an ability cell. You gain another ability point. Access the ability tree to use your ability points. So we've gained ourselves basically a free level. So we jump down. We can improve the radius and damage of the charge flame for now. Allows the spirit flame to damage two targets at once. Most pickups will be automatically absorbed, etc, etc. Do I want to start going on this lot first? Let's charge flame efficiency. Reusing soul links there. Creating a soul link restores one life spells. Not a bad thing. Right, let's just improve our damage a bit more and the next level will start up that tree, I think. So with that said, bounce on up. And we'll get back to where we were. I'm assuming we got no other backtrack points at this point in time, but to assume makes an ass out of you and me. But for now, I'd say that... There's only so many backtrack goodies you generally get this early on in a game. So apart from that, we could break through at the very, very top that barrier. And see what goes further along that way, though it's very much the opposite direction from our overall destination. So with those walls broken down, we can easily just jump up. Keep on going. Without any hassle whatsoever. 
Apart from that, should we check out still what's along this way? Backtracking has got us something potentially very, very good after all. So I don't mind that usage of time. And find ourselves a switch, so not bad at all. Which lowers that, there seems to be more experience up that way. Apart from that, we'll leave everything as is. In fact, probably, let's checkpoint there. You haven't died yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. Probably at a stupid time as well. Right, so now we're back up to this point. We could cut across and see what happens over this way. Now, do enemies happen in the Valley of the Wind? Do we have to be fearful, or is this a place we can be safe? Mind you, it is quite easy to traverse what seems to be a big section of the map in just a couple of seconds. So that's not too bad. We can break through into the Valley of the Wind without issue. Now, can we get ourselves something special or something goody? Oops, didn't want to use that right there. And then we got a bird attacking us. New enemies appear. Oh, no, no, okay. This looks like you could break through it. Yes, excellent. Gotta notice the terrain. So we've got ourselves another ability cell. So that worked out checking out this way quite nicely. We haven't got any energy to boost it up just yet, though, so we'll have to leave that. Now, how far forward do I want to go? That's one of the real problems here. And seeming this guy attacks with a swoop, we can dodge it fairly easily. So we need to break through there, but I don't really want that poisonous water on me. There's only so much exploring this way for goodies that we should really do. I don't think we're going to come across anything too good or special too fast either. What are you? This is where we could encounter an enemy that just destroys us in one hit. Well, that missed. Well, we're getting tons of experience for coming here, so it's not too bad. Right, let's check out the map. We can bounce up this wall quite handily. Or not so handily. Wow, okay. So the stuff there completely destroys us in two seconds time. As soon as we hit the spikes in that area, we are doomed. So with that said, I knew that we were going to die sometime soon, and seeming there seems to be one-hit KOs around, if we're not careful, we've learnt quite a lot at that scenario. So have we opened the way over there? That's the question. We pulled that down, that is down. So we can continue on that way, but for now, what we should do, we should go back over, get that ability cell, and then head on back. We learnt mechanics of the game, including one-hit KOs of Doom if we go in the wrong areas, or just one-hit KOs in general, unless we have enough life cells to survive it, I imagine. I don't know exactly how to put it, so... We got lucky for a little bit in the Valley of the Wind, and then we got incredibly unlucky straight away. Those birds give a lot of experience, but of course they take a lot of time to deal with, so jump over, sir. Now we'll defeat you. You're gonna have to jump out for me to hit you, though. Take that lovely experience, get that ability orb, level up in a second. Move forward to fight these two more crows, because why not, you know? They give a fair whack of experience, don't they? And then fight this guy as well. Plus the one more slug, and then head backwards and fight normal enemies for our level. Or whatever it is. However you would gauge things at this point in time. Well that hurt, but didn't know- Ooh, 2 HP worth of damage. So we're basically finding out the values of enemies in this area, and that they are not to be trifled with in the way that we have been trifling with them. Hello birdie! What's with the respawning so soon? Well, I will defeat you for your experience, because at this point we're getting two levels, and I'm clicking away on that X button going, Panic! 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 Hopefully opening up that area didn't give us too much of a bad time, but we gained ourselves an ability there, so we'll reuse the Soul Link and shorten the cooldown timer on that. We'll save here. And now we've learned that death can come swiftly, which is why there's a death counter. I'm pretty sure this game expects you to die and not get through it without dying. 
And I'm not sure I really even count that kind of thing as a death, because I couldn't manage my HP there. It was just bloop, insta-doom. Depends what you count as. Right, so we've got ourselves a big blob of doom, which splits into smaller, lots of smaller blobs of doom. All the blobs. Right, so to beat all the things, I seem to have beaten up someone over there by accident. Hopefully that experience doesn't disappear now because of that. There's a place we could get up over far to the left there, but I don't think we're going to reach it just yet. Oh, that experience went away because of that. If I keep hopping, I'll be fine. That's a lot of little things. But we defeated them, so it's not too bad. Spirit Link, get ourselves the next level there. So we've gained ourselves some nice abilities there. So we can rekindle things as we need to. We can't jump up here, it seems. There's a place far to the left over there. If we bounce onto this bit here, you can see an experienced thing, but I'm probably not reaching that at all to be able to jump up there. I'd have to say, or I'd have to judge. Not at this time. So we can rekindle the soul link as well, which just basically game saves, and we keep on going. So, okay, finding out more mechanics, including instant death. We've also earned ourselves for our trouble, level ups galore, ability points as well. Do I really have to come here? I'm not a fan of game spiders in the first place. Right, so we can jump up this way if we bounce off the wall. See if that gets us a secret under here. No. Hello, spider. Go away. Don't like you. Bye-bye. Right, so you're defeated, but we need energy to open the energy door. Don't know what's behind it, and we only have ourselves one on hand. It doesn't seem like this is an attackable object. In fact, we can jump into it, which... Something... Else. Okay. Something I was not expecting, but instant pitfall deaths happen as well. If I didn't die earlier, I definitely would have died then no matter what. So we can jump on that object. I was kind of expecting to jump through it, thinking it was some kind of background object a bit more, but to be honest, it looks like we have to knock down those stones to be able to make it further, and that pit is non-survivable. Not so good. We can get low to look in it, but as soon as you go past that point, you are doomed! So it's take your bets now, how many deaths will I have by the completion of this game? Probably quite a fair few. Right, so save it here for the time being. It seems we can bounce up this amorphous blob of yuck. And then we want to jump off the right hand side and get up here. But we do need ourselves a little bit more energy at this point in time. In fact, we need ourselves a lot of more energy. Well, can we make it all the way onto that rock? We can. And then we can make it up here to find ourselves energy. Nice. Though, so is that another ability point there? My goodness, I need to get that. I need to get it. Good. I need to get it now. Well, that said... We knock down that with utmost glee. Does that mean we can now land there? That's a question in and of itself. We'll take this bit out as well and then start exploring with possible instant death coming our way for exploring. Right, spikes galore underneath us, though it seems that if we land far to the right, we are safe. And a life cell to be gained if we're good at jumping. That's not going to make it. Well, we made it, kinda-ish. That doesn't seem to be instant death spikes, though. Instant death spikes? I wish there was some kind of obviousness to them. But we found ourselves another life cell. Alright, so let's get back up the way we came. Probably land on the spikes yet again. We have to commit! Commit indeed, we did. You know, I like playing games where I can't die, or, or it's incredibly hard to die unless you're being extremely negligent. Let's put it that way. This game, it seems incredibly easy to die for one false step. Which is an interesting challenge in itself. After all, place your bets. See how much you, well, 
how close to the amount of deaths you think I can get away with by the end of this. Alright, so that must have fallen all the way down. There's lots of spikes over there after all. If it hasn't fallen all the way down... Oh, give me some energy. Someone has some energy somewhere, don't they? There was some energy over here. Let's resave it here. Oh, hello. But in the meantime, we're going to be full of... Small things are coming for me. Keep firing. Well, one of them got me, but I still got the experience, so haha! -ha! I'm laughing, obviously. Didn't like that whatsoever. But before we fall down, it makes sense to... Oh, cannot create a soul link in an unsafe zone. We can create it here, though, however. So, bon voyage! Phew. Woo! Hello, spider. It's very friendly of you. Of course, I mean that in complete opposite land, but there we go. You're defeated now because of that. Stop doing that. Evil, evil thing. So which way to head? That's the question here. It seems we've found ourselves... Another energy cell, so that's not bad. And we don't get stuck to spiderweb, which is good, considering we're smaller than the spiders, and that's always a threat. Right, so we've got ourselves another energy cell, we got ourselves another life cell, we've died twice. Huh! Whoa! Let's jump over and get that sorted. Right, some more energy there if we need it, but we've got three, we should be fine. Oh, I shot it anyway. Keep dodging. No, come back, my experience. Stay where you are, and hopefully no fish is underneath us, because that water does not look good, and considering the fact that we already got given the hint that there was clean water. Yeah, I thought I could get some experience there. Alright, get it all. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's bad. Oh, alright. I fell in the water for a second there. There's definitely a fish trying to prime itself for attack. I do not like that. Well, there seems to be many an item or kind of like place of interest underneath or like gears or some such. Whatever they are. Well, that said, spider go away, spider go away. And there seems to be a bouncy point here. Not exactly that high though, but we can see something Definitely saw something life cell, possibly, at the top of that screen. Right, so here's... No, 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 no. That was a bad idea. That's a strut holding up the stuff above. That's why we can't get through it. Maybe I do not want to take that down yet, after all. But if I touch to say there's a life cell at the top of the screen there, indeed there is. Whoa, they're getting more spikiness. Not good. Alright, so I'll take that, obviously. I'll fall down all the way, of course. No, Xbox, don't stop listening. Or well, do stop. Ah, connect. You can't trust it. These newfangled Let's Playing things is, of course, my first Let's Play on the Xbox One. So I have to get used to new platforms and all that at the same time, but can we do anything to go this way? Wondering if there was a way through there or something. Nope. Doesn't seem it. So we came up there for no reason, but all the same. Bit of exploration. Ow! Doesn't hurt spiky things. They do, though. I'll take the extra HP. And now we find the monsters that we saw before. Along our normal path. So we could have got more experience that way anyway. We found ourselves a mapstone segment, but we need to fight the whole fragment, of course. So with that said, we'll blow up the guy above us as well with a nicely placed Badoom. Apart from that, it seems we're not going very much further along that path, does it? We need some more energy. Alright, take you out. Get over this way, bounce up. There's the mapstone fragment all the way over the spikes. Alright, we could get up and in, or we could get down and get the mapstone fragment for the time being. Let's grab that. Alright, mapstone fragment is ours. We can reveal ourselves a lot more. Apart from that, there's another energy cell over there. Where exactly are we falling? Onto enemies is never good.
And all I can keep doing at the moment is going downwards because of all the enemies around. Ah! All the falling to check out all the areas, but to be honest, experience is always good. Soul Link is ready once again. My health is at full. Can't complain about any of that. In fact, the game's quite good for giving HP when you need it, that's for sure. Oh, defeat that one, of course, for all that lovely bounty. Oh, didn't manage to duck it, which is what I was trying to do. Well, we got ourselves the map fragment. So let's reveal ourselves another section of the map. And see what's coming before us. Man, that's massive, and we're supposed to be going that way, not that way, but oh well, we've revealed ourselves part of the map, and that's never a bad thing. In fact, I think we revealed ourselves another tree as well at that point in time, didn't we? So with that said, we'll grab this last bit of experience and end the episode there. Two deaths to our name. Terrible indeed, may though may be. It seems instant death is a thing that comes to you on this game, so we'll try to avoid it as best we can and try to keep that death counter as low as possible as enemies respawn. But do join me next time for more Ori and the Blind Forest, and I'll see you guys around. Bye bye